Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to yet another video. First of all, I want to thank everybody who have subscribed to this channel. I've been absent for quite a while because of work stuff, and so I couldn't go anywhere. Didn't feel like making videos, but we're back. So yeah, so today we have with us the Honda XR and Ahmed. So Spirit and Ahmed, and these two are going to test each other today. And we're going to see which one is better. No, we're not. We're actually here just to do a video of the two of us, my friend and I, doing a ride. And he's riding my bike. He just recently started riding, so I wouldn't say we're going to fly off the coast today. So, but yeah, we're going to take things easy. And now, this is English for the video, huh? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Sevia? Yeah? Huh? Ah? Yeah, can you do worry? Yeah, it's not good. I feel so clean, you. Let's go. Hello, can I have a net to be from the Bogus Christ? So, this is the food. Do we have food? Food, yes, food. So, as you guys will see, we had some problems with the big boy um, along the way. So, it wasn't really a very fluent ride, but it's just two times and I couldn't place why it was doing that. And after a while, it was just running smooth again so I wasn't entirely sure why it did that but then we just decided to have some lunch and then go ahead Seriously? Yes, you did. <laughs> Having a burger. Mm. So after lunch we finished up and got back on the road uh, the little tarmac section that led us to the next uh, gravel road and according to how this guy was riding for a very fairly new rider somebody who has learned within uh, 20 minutes of how to ride a bike um, he was doing quite well um, there were places that he was standing on the bike so I guess that he was a very quick learner and he has enjoyed himself quite a lot though but, but enjoy the video guys and don't forget if you haven't already to leave a like and if you like to leave a comment don't forget to subscribe because that's very important
wanna quickly look at that monstrosity of a thing that stands over there. No, on the other side. But oh now that's good. What is that? Release! Hij is een sloot in Spanje. Hij is een sloot in Spanje. Hij is sloot daar. Ja man. Oké, ja, zo. Vandaag wilde ik het over een paar dingen vertellen die ik liefde aan deze bike vond. Although in the past I knew I said that this bike doesn't stand very well because of the food packs and nothing changed that because the footpacks are still very narrow but I think as soon as you get a footpack upgrade then um, you will have like really more comfortable standing position on this bike so the standing position is not all that bad but it's just that the footpacks doesn't allow you to stand very comfortably on this bike the second thing I like and love about this bike is the fact that it is light it is nimble i can just chuck it around you know and i know that i like the fact that a bike has a 21 inch front wheel i like that um part of it but also because then again um the bike can easily go over obstacles and it makes it just a little bit easier when riding technical stuff but in this situation i can actually feel that this that having a 19 inch rear wheel actually up in the front is actually really beneficial to this bike in in many in many ways though so, because it makes it just nimble it makes it light as soon as you just it, it has a very short reach for turning so as soon as you just touch that handlebar it just turns and it makes it just easier to maneuver and that's what i love about it so yeah and that's 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 the second thing the third thing about this bike is the fact that it's so damn light on fuel i don't know how you can beat that but it's so damn light on fuel it has a very small uh, fuel tank i'm not exactly sure how much i'll put it up on the screen but yeah and it's very light on fuel so it doesn't it doesn't go through the fuel like very hard but it just like takes i almost want to say it takes its time with going through that fuel and going through um 
the usage of fuel but it's really good in how it uses the fuel the third the fourth thing that i want to talk about is the level of comfort on this bike this bike is actually for a small bike it's actually very comfortable actually for me um the seat isn't too hard although after sitting for a while you might get um after half an hour or so you might get uh your butt might start aching but other than that this is a really good and comfortable bike though because i don't really feel cramped while i'm sitting i can easily sit um on the trail just like now while riding i can easily sit and be comfortable you know and when i need the power the power is there you know it just takes off as soon as he opens it up so that's what's nice about this bike and uh, I actually enjoy that part of it as well. Um, it doesn't it doesn't lack very much in power. So yeah, but the fourth thing or the fifth, th sixth thing that I want to talk about is the fact that you can have fun with it. You can take it anywhere. You can take it to the trails. You can take it to the trails. You can take it um, off road to some places you want to go you can go even very far places with it you can actually do adventure rides with this bike and that's what makes it such a lovely little chap um and a lovely little bike to have so yeah um that's about all of this all that's about all for today oh.